Hey guys, welcome back to another gameplay analysis video, and it is again on Zenyatta. I'm going to try to be a little more detailed on this one. I am still new to these types of videos, so if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments for me, and I will take them into consideration. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and start the game, and I will be commenting on what I can while we go. Four, three. Right out the One, gate here, I see the Rhine and dodge the fire strike. You really want to be dodging them because that gives him a ton of all charge, just landing even one of them. Now, since I am Zenyatta, I excel in this team at healing our Tracer and our Genji, so I'm going to be focusing heals on them the whole time. And I managed to get the, the right click pick on their Zen, which sort of snowballs this fight in our favor. Not much to say there. Just a good pick. Once again. My ultimate is charged. Hello. In the desert. In the desert. The cheetah lives for three years. And the camel. Enemy turret ahead. My ultimate is charging. And then, of course, we're just gonna push the payload here. I told Anna to go heal our team because I can push it by myself. She's our main healer. But she came back for some reason. The payload must be moved Adlan? to its destination. Applying pressure, hitting people as much as possible. In the desert? Trying to generate trance so we can counter the Zarya ultimate, which is only at 24%, so I'm way ahead of that. And I noticed all the purple, so I chased him down there. Trying not to let him get away so we can heal. And she gets a nice grab, and I just a full charge right click into her head. And we push this because we have numbers advantage. And it's always worth the push when we have numbers. There's not much to say in our attack because we just roll them. But our defense is a little better. And a little longer. Ball is also another good target for your your healing role. In this game, my discords aren't really a priority. I just sort of put them on whoever whoever's out of position or readily available to be hit. Whenever you do Discord somebody, if you have a mic, it's good to call it out to your team so they know that, because they will start hitting them. Yeah, a bunch of people hitting somebody with a Discord orb is usually a kill. And I've been holding this trance for that grab this whole time, which just never used it. Because she knew I had to have that Zoro, that Zoro tank there is like master's level Zarya, so. She knew not to grab into my trance because they didn't have the the Ana to counter nade it. Five, four, three, two, one. On King's Row first point here, I hold next to Hotel here because there's a health pack inside there and it's a lot of natural cover. Always stay behind your Rhyme Shield as much as possible. As you notice, I'll die right here because I got cocky from getting that kill and wanted to kill more people and I took an arrow to the head for that. A temporary setback. 
And they have double snipers, so it's always a good idea not to get shot in the head. They take first point pretty decisively. So we do back up. In the desert, the chief for a few years. I'm trying my best to do as much damage as I can because I know Zarya is way ahead of me. And it is my job to stop that ult from killing our whole team. So I am having a little bit of a challenge here because of that run shield. And we don't have any frontline damage to break that shield. Fall back here, just uh, because we know their Rhine has shatter, is close to shatter. We thought he might have had it, so we sort of positioned. I positioned back here near the corner, so if I hear it, I can back up and go around the corner and not get hit by it. Ryan does a crazy charge in. I hit him with a pretty nice right click there, put him on the defense. And then Zarya pushes up, so I fall back. And then Widow tries to come get me, but Genji helps me out. And then Ryan didn't get much, and we got a really nice grab, super nice grab by uh, Zarya there. And I still have my transfer there, Zarya's grab. Ready for transcendence. The camel in the desert. The cheetah lives for three years, and the camel for nine. Greetings. Here I'm sticking with Genji because I can heal him pretty well, and he's been popping off this game, so. Definitely want to keep him up. Listen to the whispers of madness. Here I get cut off. Which isn't the best, but it's alright because I managed to say it's Again, holding this defensive position. It's not the best, but it's for what we are situation we were in. It's a pretty good spot. Because we can at least return fire. And I try to get a cheeky right click, but McCree does more burst damage. Hold up now. The payload has and they grab point two and My have four minutes to push. Repetition is the path. To mastery. On Zen, I usually like to sit as far back as possible, unless we're really pushing them. Just because I can just charge right clicks for free all day and get a ton of all charge that way. Also, if you have the angle, throw your balls under the cart like I'm trying to do here, because you can still hit them in their feet. And I know their only win condition, of course, really is the grab dragon combo, so it's really on me to, to not let that kill our team. In the desert, in the desert, in the desert. The Always be looking for somebody's ultimate to counter. Highest priority, of course, being something like Zarya ult. Zen ult's really good against Mei ult, Dragon Blade, Hanzo ult, really just everything. <laughs> if you're fast enough, you can. 
if you hear Ryan start saying we're down, you can uh, pre fire your trance before the slam hits and just keep your team alive that way. It's a little flashy too. And we trance there and immediately start pumping damage out to build that next one up. Always trying to stay ahead of Zarya on the L charge. Already a quarter of the way there. In the desert, the cheetah lived for three years, and the camel lived for nine. Let the dragon consume Backing up here to get some long range poke in. Keeping orbs on our flankers. Using this box as cover, it's a pretty nice spot. And we just chase down stragglers here and kill them. And we're already at trance, and Zarya's only 65% to her grab, so... We're getting these trances real fast. And that's really the most important part about playing Zenyatta, is just getting trance... ...often as possible. Because that's probably the most game-changing ultimate, besides, like, Nano Blade. My ultimate ability is ready. If any of you are curious, this game is about 4300. Zarya gets grabbed here, so I fly out, save her life. I do a little hop there to try to get some heals on the left there. I get hooked and killed, but it doesn't matter because my team has enough reason. Uh, yeah, we're just rolling. Overconfidence is a flimsy shield. Locked by the dragon. And that looks like that is game. Victory. All right, well, that's the end of this video. just want to say thanks again for watching my content. I really appreciate all the love and support I'm getting, and I will see you guys in the next video.